King Edward II's killers chose a horrific way to do him in. Edward's killers did not want to leave visible marks of foul play on the body. Contemptuous of his perceived homosexuality, they chose a horrendous way to murder him on the night of September 21st, in the year 1327. The deposed monarch was held down, and a red hot poker was shoved up his rectum to burn his bowels from the inside. Another version has it that a tube was first inserted into his rectum, and a red hot metal bolt was then dropped down the tube into his bowels. Either way, his screams were said to have been heard far beyond the castle walls. Stella Kubler, known as the Blonde Ghost, was a traitor who enthusiastically helped the Nazis exterminate her people. During World War II, she became infamous for her collaboration with the Gestapo to track down and denounce fellow Jews who sought to hide from the Nazis. After their arrest when her job as a catcher was over, she enthusiastically participated in the horrific beatings, torture, and humiliation of Jewish prisoners. She collected 300 Reich marks from the Nazis for every Jew she turned in. Despite her services, the Nazis broke their promises and sent Stella's parents and husband, a fellow Jew catcher, to their deaths in a camp in 1943. Still, her zeal on behalf of the Nazis did not falter. By war's end, Stella had helped arrest hundreds or thousands of Jews who were subsequently murdered. The total number of her victims ranged from at least 600 to as high as 3,000. They include many of her personal friends, former schoolmates, and their families, and even some of her own relatives. Despite her horrific record, she got off light. Captured by the Soviets, she was only sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. Dr. Seuss had an affair while his wife suffered from cancer and depression. A few months after his wife's suicide, he married his mistress. John Lennon was a self-confessed violent man in real life. He used to beat his wife and even emotionally abused his son, Julian. Arthur Miller had a son with Down Syndrome, who he immediately institutionalized a week after birth. He never visited him, and he didn't even mention him in his memoirs. Henry Ford was a Nazi sympathizer, harboring deep-seated hatred against Jews. He published books against Jews and even used slave labor in his plants in Germany. During the Bengal famine of 1943, Canada, U.S., and Australia made efforts to export wheat to India, but Winston Churchill said India had adequate stocks and instead diverted the food stocks to the Mediterranean. Three million Indians died due to the famine. The horrific career of Matthew Hopkins as a witch finder began in May 1644, when an associate alleged that six women had tried to kill him with witchcraft. Hopkins saw a business opportunity and falsely declared himself witch finder general. With a commission from Parliament, he then offered his services to towns and villages to root out witches in their midst, force their confession, and get them hanged by the authorities. His investigation methods amounted to torture. The accused were deprived of sleep, dunked in water, and tied in uncomfortable positions for hours on end. He also used fake prickings and trick knives to demonstrate that the accused, like witches, did not bleed when pierced or cut. Hopkins flim flam bore its grisliest result on August 27, 1645, in the small town of Bury St. Edmunds. That day, thanks to his machinations, 18 men and women were hanged. It was England's biggest mass execution of witches. In 1647, he published The Discovery of Witches. The following year, executions for witchcraft and sorcery began in New England, 44 years later in Salem, where authorities used The Discovery of Witches as a roadmap. A children's blizzard hit the U.S. Plains states on January 12, 1888. The blizzard came unexpectedly on a relatively warm day, and many people were caught unaware including children who were on their way home from school. 235 people died, with most of those being kids. During the storm, Minnie Freeman safely led 13 children from her schoolhouse to her home, one and a half miles or 2.4 kilometers away. Lois Royce found herself trapped with three of her students in her schoolhouse. By 3 p.m., they had run out of heating fuel. Her boarding house was only 82 yards away, so she attempted to leave the children there. However, visibility was so poor that she became lost, and the children, two nine-year-old boys and a six-year-old girl, froze to death. The teacher survived, but her feet were frostbitten and had to be amputated. In 1518, the city of Strasbourg was hit by a dancing plague, where people would dance uncontrollably for days. It began with a single woman dancing solo for a few days, before eventually more and more people became affected. Doctors proclaimed that the illness was caused by overheated blood and recommended that the inflicted should continue to shimmy and shave the fever away. 
Musicians were even called in, and the stage was set up in the town center to give the dancers more room. While the idea may seem funny at first, most of them kept dancing until they fell unconscious. Some died from exhaustion, heart attack, or stroke. There's been many theories, but nobody knows what happened. One of the largest human experiments in history is when the United States Navy sprayed bacteria-infused fog on the city of San Francisco to test how well germ-based biological warfare could work against humans. This occurred back in the 1950s. It was considered widely successful. A man died, and his grandson tried to sue the government. A court held that the government is immune to lawsuits for negligence, and they were justified in conducting tests without subjects' knowledge. The Army tried to blame the hospital. The U.S. attorney argued that they had to conduct tests in populated areas to see how biological agents would affect that area. I don't think that United States attorney would feel the same if they conducted those tests where he lived. The Space Shuttle Challenger disaster was a fatal accident that occurred on January 28, 1986 in the United States Space Program. The Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds into its flight, leading to the death of all seven crew members. The crew of the Space Shuttle Challenger was alive and aware of their descent from the sky until the crew capsule hit the ocean at 207 miles per hour or 333 kilometers per hour. Investigations have uncovered a number of things that indicate the crew was performing emergency recovery procedures as the capsule descended down towards the Earth. They were alive when they came falling down the sky like a shooting star and aware of their inevitable deaths. The crew of the Space Shuttle Challenger is a perfect example of the human spirit that has no chance of survival but still tries until his last breath. The government literally poisoned alcohol during Prohibition. During Prohibition in the United States, the U.S. government literally poisoned alcohol. When people continued to consume alcohol despite its banning, law officials got frustrated and decided to try a different kind of deterrent, death. They ordered the poisoning of industrial alcohols manufactured in the U.S., which were products regularly stolen by bootleggers. By the end of Prohibition in 1933, the federal poisoning program is estimated to have killed at least 10,000 people. Baby Farmer Minnie Dean, a.k.a. the Baby Farmer, is the only woman to receive the death penalty in New Zealand. To make ends meet, she used to take in unwanted babies, many of whom either got mysteriously sick and died or went missing. Eventually, after a police investigation, it was discovered that she had killed them and put their remains in hat boxes. She was found guilty of infanticide and hanged. Horrifying Desire While on an expedition into Africa during the late 19th century, James Jameson, heir to the Jameson Irish Whiskey Empire, reportedly asked to witness cannibalism in action. In order to make his horrifying desire a reality, he purchased a slave girl and handed her over to men who murdered her and feasted on her flesh. Jameson is said to have sketched out the gruesome scene, later turning his rough illustrations into a series of watercolors. In the year 1897, three Swedish men attempted to reach the North Pole using a hot air balloon. On just a third day of flight, they crashed onto a pack of ice. They managed to survive for some weeks by hunting and eating polar bears, but eventually died. 33 years later, a ship found their bodies along with their journal and a camera. Nuclear radiation caused some Hiroshima survivors to develop black fingernails, with active blood vessels inside them. Charles Darwin and Albert Einstein married their first cousins. In fact, 80% of marriages in history were between second or closer cousins. Genghis Khan ordered his army to eat every tenth man to overcome the shortage of food. The average life expectancy in ancient Rome was 20 to 30 years. Romans were notorious for their midday spectacles. They used condemned prisoners and prisoners of war for real executions within the play. In Chinese culture, smaller feet were considered to make a woman more attractive. So the Chinese took to binding women's feet together at a young age. As you might imagine, the results were pretty horrific. This practice was outlawed in China in 1912. In ancient Egypt, anyone caught killing a cat, even by accident, was sentenced to death. Persians knew this and used this to their advantage in warfare. They would tie cats to shields and also throw and release cats at Egyptians, knowing that they could not harm them. During the 1800s, British noblemen in India would use so-called jelly boys, local boys smeared in jam, 
walk beside them, attracting all the bugs, flies, and mosquitoes, creating a neat golfing experience for the nobility and a not-so-neat experience for the boys. Child marriage in America isn't talked about as much as it should be. What's worse is it's still a thing. It's legal in 44 states. The Aztecs performed acts of human sacrifice on slaves. In one such event, over 10,000 slaves had their hearts torn out while still alive. Their blood permanently stained the pyramid. Christopher Columbus fed people to animals. At one point, he fed a live child to dogs. The vast majority of France's 80,000 inmates at the infamous Devil's Island prison camp never made it back to France. The Arab slave trade began long before the U.S. was created and lasted 14 centuries, longer than the Atlantic or European slave trade. Native Americans owned slaves and continued to do so after the Slavery Abolition Act of 1833 due to tribal land sovereignty. By the time slavery was abolished in Brazil, an estimated 4.9 million slaves were imported from Africa. Today, apart from Nigeria, Brazil has the highest number of people of African descent. Over 1 million white slaves were captured from Europe in between the 16th and 18th centuries. They were sold to Ottomans by pirates operating in North Africa. One of the first legal slave owners in American history was a black tobacco farmer named Anthony Johnson. People were buried alive so often that bells were attached to their coffins. Due to medicine not being the greatest, comatose people were sometimes mistakenly buried alive. In order to counteract these potential blunders, people were buried with little bells above ground. These bells were attached to a string which went into the coffin. If the person was buried alive and later woke up, they would tug on the string that would ring the bell above ground. Someone would hear it and then dig the person out of their premature resting place. The guillotine was invented to create equality and execution. The guillotine is an image that is fairly synonymous with France and the French Revolution. Until its advent and widespread use, the regular methods of execution in France were rather savage. Punishments like being drawn and quartered were common. The idea to use the guillotine as the main method of execution was part of the movement for equality in France that spurred on the revolution. This created equality in death and execution for citizens from all backgrounds. Six people died in the Great Fire of London. The Great Fire of 1666 apparently traces its way back to a baker's oven and caused massive damage across the city of London. However, despite destroying over 13,500 houses and displacing 80,000 people, it only claimed the lives of six humans. Back in the 16th century, the wealthy elite used to eat dead bodies. It was rumored the cadavers could cure diseases, the highest delicacy, Egyptian mummies. Witches weren't actually burned at the stake in Salem. The witch trials in Salem, Massachusetts lasted between February 1692 and May 1693. Nearly 200 people were accused of practicing witchcraft, including the homeless, the elderly, and a four-year-old girl. The majority were jailed, some were hanged, one was pressed to death, but none of these people actually got burned alive. Basically, everything about Thanksgiving is a lie. You know that happy meal between Native Americans and the Pilgrims where everyone bonded? Well, the real story of Thanksgiving is awful, and it actually consisted of plagues, violence, and murder. Also, there's no evidence turkey was actually served or that Native people were invited to the meal. In the Middle Ages, if someone was hanged for a crime, their body might have been left on the gallows for years. Known as gibbeting, using a gallow to display the body of an executed criminal was a common practice in the medieval period often used to deter other people from committing crimes of their own. In the 18th century, a woman actually convinced doctors that she was giving birth to rabbits. Mary Toft reportedly gave birth to up to nine of the fluffy creatures at a time. Doctors were convinced that she was telling the truth until they found pieces of corn inside the stomachs of one of the rabbits, proving that it hadn't developed inside Toft's womb. It turned out she had been manually inserting the rabbits to make the delivery look as realistic as possible. In ancient Asia, death by an elephant was a popular form of execution. As elephants are very intelligent and easy to train, it proved easy enough to train them as executioners and torturers. They could be taught to slowly break bones, crush skulls, twist off limbs, or even execute people using large blades fitted to their tusks. 
In some parts of Asia, this method of execution was still popular up to the late 19th century. Thomas Edison didn't invent most of the stuff he patented. It's fair to say that Edison was one of the world's most notorious intellectual property thieves. Of his 1,093 patents, he stole almost all of them. Since the end of World War I, over 1,000 people have died from leftover unexploded bombs. During the Great War, an estimated 200 pounds of explosives were fired per square foot of territory on the Western Front. However, not all these shells exploded. Every year since the end of the war, something called an iron harvest takes place. This is an annual harvest or unearthing of unexploded World War I bombs as well as grenades, artillery shells, and other explosives which occur mainly during the spring planting and autumn harvests in the fields that were once the Great War's arena. Since 1919, over 1,000 civilians and ordnance collectors have died from explosives caused by these in France and Belgium. In 1386, a pig was executed in France. A pig attacked a child who went on to die later from their wounds. The pig was arrested, kept in prison, and then sent to court where it stood trial for murder. It was found guilty and then executed by hanging. When English explorer James Cook sailed to Hawaii in 1779, the Hawaiians thought he was their sex god Lono because he arrived while they were celebrating a festival, which he didn't try to prove otherwise. When James Cook and his crew arrived on the island the first time, Hawaiians felt it was a divine event. They traded metal for food and water with the islanders. The second time he arrived on a coast that was thought to be sacred to their god Lono. He and his crew stayed there for more than a month enjoying and looting them. But one of Cook's crew members died, and the Hawaiians realized they were not in fact gods, but mortals. They left the island after relationships turned sour, but when they had to turn back after a week because of rough seas, they were pelted with stones. After his crew started shooting, things got worse. Cook tried to kidnap the king of Hawaii. He got hit over the head and stabbed to death. During the Civil War, General Joseph Hooker had brought in so many prostitutes to follow his division that they were called General Hooker's Army or Hooker's Legion. Christopher Columbus committed many atrocities, including cutting ears and noses off as part of punishments for minor crimes or disregarding his rule. In 1838, Edgar Allan Poe published his only novel, the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket, a story about a group of shipwrecked sailors who end up drawing straws to see which one of them will be eaten. The deadly lot ends up being drawn by a young man named Richard Parker. Forty-six years later, a group of real-life men found themselves likewise stranded at sea when a 17-year-old boy among them fell violently ill. With his odds of survival low, the others chose to kill and eat him, the boy's name Richard Parker. Throughout his youth, John Wilkes Booth was a promising figure. The son of theater actors, he was athletic, charismatic, and became a famous stage actor in his own right. However, he was haunted by a prediction made by a fortune teller. The soothsayer decreed that Booth would be famous, but he would die young and come to a bad end. In case you think this is fake, Booth wrote this down himself, and he showed it to his family and reflected on it whenever he was depressed. Literally every race of people that have ever existed on this planet have been slaves to another at some point in history, and most of them have overlapping time frames with other races. There are more people in slavery today than at any other time in history. There are books in the Harvard University Library which are bound in human flesh. Ireland exported potatoes during the Great Potato Famine. Rainbow Valley of Mount Everest is named for the rainbow colors of clothing of passed away people there. The founding fathers of the United States of America didn't know dinosaurs existed. The Dutch once ate their prime minister. Russia still has not recovered its population prior to World War II. In the UK sometime in the 12th century, two children of unusual green skin color appeared in the village of Woolpit in Suffolk, England. The girl later communicated she and her brother had came from St. Martin's Land, a subterranean world inhabited by green people. The United States injected unknowing Puerto Ricans with cancer cells to see how the illness worked. From the fall of the Roman Empire until the middle of the 19th century, not a single city in Europe had a sewer system to dispose of human feces. City planners didn't build sewers until it was proven in 1855 that the cause of all the cholera epidemics was drinking water being contaminated with human feces. As part of a spirituality chastity experiment, Gandhi slept naked along with his great niece to test his ability to abstain from sexual relations. In 
the 1960s, the KGB tried to blackmail the Indonesian Prime Minister Sukarno with tapes of him having sex with a Russian flight attendant. Sukarno not only disregarded their blackmail, but asked them to bring more footage of the video to show his countrymen. Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein, lost her virginity on her mother's grave. During the Iron Age in a remote part of Ireland, a tribe ritually and symbolically marries a man to a white mare. To become a king, the man then must copulate with the mare, after which it's dismembered and cooked and eaten. Napoleon's penis was sold for $3,000 at a Paris auction. Mussolini, after he was beaten and executed by the public, his face was basically a sack of meat made of skin. It's believed that roughly 97% of history has been lost over time. Written accounts of history only started roughly 6,000 years ago, and modern humans first appeared around 200,000 years ago.